All right, so I am going to demo a cup. I think it's important for you to consider that your clay is going to shrink around 12 to 15 percent from wet to glazed fire, depending on your clay body. Like porcelain is going to shrink more than stoneware. So what I recommend you do is make your cup a little bit larger than you're going to want it to be in the end, knowing that it's going to do some shrinking. Okay, so the wet cup should be a little bit on the big side. All we're doing is we're making a cylinder and then we'll shape it into a cup. So if you want a little bit more of a detailed explanation as to how to make a cylinder, you will want to take a look at that video. The, the wall, the thinness that I want, now I can shape. So the hand on the inside now is going to be doing the work, and the hand on the outside is more as a, a brace. And I'm, I want a little part to go in, so and on the outside is doing the pushing. And now I'm laying the hand on the inside push again. So I guess it just depends on the contour you're after, us to determine which hand is actually doing the pushing. And you could have used a rib on the outside if you don't want the throw rings to appear. Okay. Because your lips are going to be on the mouth of the cup, let's try to get that just nice and smooth as refined as we as we can. I think I want this part to be curved a little bit more, just to slight little changes really can affect the character of the pot here. Okay, so there's no water or slip on the floor, and I'm going to remove all the water and slip on the bat. A little 
little bit of that slip. Okay. All right, so let that get to leather hard. I'll trim it and then I'll make the handle. That goes for it. 